All right, let's get the forecast now. First alert, meteorologist Ray Petland says we have cooler temperatures coming. Ray. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a, a completely different uh, shift from what we've been seeing to uh, what we're going to get as uh, we've been getting these temperatures in the low to mid 80s the past few days. We're down to 68, which is still a very warm temperature, more typical of a high temperature for this time of year during the afternoon, and we're still sitting at that point right now. Southeasterly winds, uh, three miles per hour, so light southerly wind and temperatures overall tonight will dip down into these mid to upper 50s outside of Pittsburgh in the city, likely about 60 degrees for a low. So we're not going to fall off too much more from where we're at right now. 57 for a low in Cranberry and Butler, 57 Indiana and Connellsville, 56 for Washington, while Latrobe and Greensburg are looking at 55. Tomorrow, we warm back to the low to mid 80s. Well, Pittsburgh's going to get to 82 with Connellsville. Beaver, you're looking at 84 degrees. Uh, Clarion, 80. Dubois, 78. Indiana, 2. 81 for Morgan town so another very warm day the deal is it comes with increasing clouds so tomorrow morning some sunshine around those clouds fill in through the day i think we're going to get some good sunshine again but just more clouds than we become accustomed to and you'll notice here by the time we're getting to about 6 p.m some of those showers are going to start to make their approach but they're going to take their time crossing over the state line so i don't think we have to worry about rain until we get uh, closer to midnight so just know once we hit midnight early Friday morning, the rain showers start moving in and they're going to be with us into the morning commute. These showers are going to be with us into the early part of the afternoon. Then I think we catch a little bit of a break uh, Friday evening. But by Saturday, the next round of moisture starts moving in. This is going to bring another shot of rain and another shot of colder air. So you'll notice those temperatures take another step down. So cooler on Friday, colder on Saturday, colder still come Sunday and both weekend days come with a little precipitation attached. However, I think Saturday is going to be the best shot to see some rain coming into play, especially early Saturday, because Sunday's precipitation is going to be more of a spotty drizzle. Nothing too heavy, just enough to let you know it's damp and dreary and on top of that cold outside 60 partly cloudy tonight warm for most of us because uh, these temperatures have been just off the charts warm that, that we've been seeing 82 uh, for tomorrow again upper 60s are what we average for this time of year so a very warm setup uh, the clouds will be increasing out ahead of some rain and that rain is going to hold off until late so I think you get through the whole day and even much of the evening without having to worry about rain but you'll notice by 8 p.m. it should be overcast at that point the next seven days, these temperatures start to fall. 70 is sort of a misleading number for Friday. Yeah, early in the morning, it's going to be about 70 degrees, but those temperatures are going to fall through the day, and I think we're going to be hanging out in the mid-60s through a good chunk of your Friday. Saturday, 57 degrees. Sunday, only 52. That's where we sort of hit rock bottom. Next week, we'll see maybe an early light shower on Monday, but Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll bring in a little more sunshine. That should help warm us up a little bit as well as we see our temperatures return to the lower 60s. 